Hi, my name is Bo, and I created this video to share a spreadsheet model that I built. So the idea is Vanguard has a brokerage service in addition to its mutual funds. You can own the funds for free, and if you hold enough money in the funds, your trades are very, very low. And I thought this would be useful for option trading in the future, and I thought it would be interesting to see what kind of a portfolio I could cook up. So I thought it would be interesting to see if I could allocate a portfolio of Vanguard funds into some desirable qualities. So their total market index fund is broken down by market cap into 71% large cap, 20% mid cap, and 9% small cap. Personally I'd like to see a little higher percentage in small and mid caps. And then if you look at how they break down the sector compared to how you equally weight it, there's underexposure in basic material, overexposure in financial services. Column E is the VTSAX, the Vanguard Total Stock Market Index. Column C is the portfolio that I came up with before I added international funds. Column D is the model that I'm using currently. I think I did a pretty good job getting these uh, sectors allocated a little more evenly. Instead of having 17% in technology, I got it down to 12. Instead of 15% in financial services, I got it to 12. Most importantly, I still wanted to keep the expense ratio quite low and the turnover rate. So with the first generation, you can see I, I had a 0.117 expense ratio compared to a 0 0.05 for the total stock market index. And with the next iteration, I ended up eliminating a few funds and uh, reducing it and getting it closer to in line with that, as well as being distributed more amongst the small cap stocks and mid cap stocks. The difficult thing to do is decrease the fund expense and the, the turnover rate when you're trying to allocate more evenly across market cap and sectors. Because if you get into funds or specific industries, you're likely to have a higher expense ratio. So the Ener energy fund has a expense ratio that is seven times that of the total stock market index fund. You add that to your portfolio, and of course it's going to have an impact. This might seem kind of simple, but it actually took a lot of work. I have three different pages that all took some time to create. What I did was for every fund in the Vanguard universe I listed them in a column. I got the information from Morningstar how they were broken down into sectors. The overall weight of the stock portfolio will be placed in row 2. So you can see none of these funds have any allocation to them. So what I did was I took that 19% and each of these cells immediately below the sector allocation for the fund are a simple product. 19% and value is for each sector. Basically I took the weighted average, the sum total of funds allocation there, which then is put back there. I did a similar thing for market cap. All the funds are listed in the column. Row 2 has the weight for each fund, which is automatically drawn from the weighting sheet. So as I adjusted the weights, I literally just eyeballed this. You know, I actually had this completed and then I thought, you know, I should probably have some allocation to the international market after I had completed it. Based on those two criteria, I wanted more 
more allocation to small and mid caps and I wanted more equal weighting across sectors. Uh, on this page it kind of shows the model which after I've got it allocated a asset class I went through and said okay if I want 65% stocks 25% bonds and 10% cash then this is my target value for each fund. When I review the, the portfolio quarterly I will take a look at this page, uh, the R analysis tab. This will show what the model position is uh, based on what the current market value is of the fund. I'll have the current position which will be downloaded here from Google Finance. It's easy to keep uh, Google Finance portfolios going and enter transactions and whatnot. So this data is brought in through the indices sheet. You can see I've got uh, column C and D highlighted. These are the deviations from the target portfolio weight and the asset class weight. The model position for the total stock market index is 31.3% or 31.5 and the asset class weight is not listed here but it's 40 the actual value is 49.6 and we want to add a 48.1 so it's only off by one and a half percent I think about rebalancing when they're off 20 10 percent by the way so just a little asset allocation model um, good to practice with. I heard someone say once that you have to be ready for your opportunities in life because you don't get very many great opportunities so you have to make the most of them when they come. I'll be ready. So I hope you like uh, the model I created. This is my effort to roll up my sleeves, put in some work, and prepare for the future. So thanks for watching. Let me know if you have any comments or questions. And if you've made something like this, I'd love to see a video of you uh, explaining it. So, have a good day.